jeez. Oh, that didn't work out. <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome back to the LEGO expansion here at the Speed Champions racetrack which is um, starting to look like a drifter's best friend. So we're here today to get our first drifts here in the LEGO expansion. We are in our EVO with one a numbered paint scheme on it. This version is the black, green, and white. I did give away the white and blue and white and red ones. So like I said, this is almost like a drifter's heaven. And so we're just going to have a little fun with this, drift around a little bit. And then go into building our first Lego house, I believe. Definitely been having a lot of fun with this expansion. And with this uh, little uh, Lego track here in the game, I can see a lot of tandems and a lot of sweet drifting going on. Because, well, we have a track in Horizon that does not have traffic or anything on it. So we can utilize the full, full potentials of drift cars here in this without having to worry about traffic or anything like that clock into a drift zone and the grip levels feel good the bank ah as I say that we spin out the bank uh the big bank does not uh does not drift very well uh you have to have a really good setup car in order to do it it was a hard cut over I forgot this drift zone goes right you probably have to have a very specific setup just to drift the bank. So I'm going to try and get a setup to drift that bank because uh, it will be sweet to drift that big bank here in this uh, Lego world. So the track is actually so much fun to drive and there's so many different lines you can take which makes this, like I said, a drifter's paradise. We're going to hit that. We're going to cut in here. So if you guys are still enjoying the LEGO expansion, let me know down in the comment section down below because I know I am. Cut that in, there we go. A little hard angle there. I should've went in the fourth. So definitely need to get used to the actual lines and runs that are in this track in order to get like the best drift lines and everything and make it super smooth. But I wanted to Kind of do a little first drift here in this Lego world here on the uh, Fanatec rig. With the Evo, we'll probably switch up cars, maybe try a different car here. But so many cool lines and stuff in this track. So a lot of people who are saying, oh, we want a track in the expansion. Well, you got a track. Yes, there's Lego cars and stuff, but there's not too many of them. And the track does not really look super Lego. I mean... You can see all the Lego aspects of it. The tires are actually Lego tires and stuff like that. But from just a look standpoint of a quick glance at the track, it's not really like there's no Lego brick tracks like on on the ground on the tracks. It's actually an actual circuit. So that's definitely a cool thing to have now a full circuit here in Horizon 4. Try and get that. There we go. We get a little offshoot this way, which I've never been on yet. So, oh, we have a nice long sweeper that mimics the outside of the bank. Oh, you know we're gonna be hitting that hard. It looks like we got a nice sweeper up here that we're gonna hit. Fifth gear entry. Going to fourth. Taking down the Lego bricks. Just discovering some roads out here and uh, looks like there's a lot of nice sweeping roads that there's going to be so many tandems with. So definitely excited with this expansion and having a blast just exploring this. Oh, Drift Zone. Let's do it. Probably not the best car choice for this. Oh, because we're going into the Lego fields. Ow. That tree did not give. So the big trees don't give. So this definitely was not the right car choice for doing 
this drift zone. But I didn't know this was a drift zone. I will just take what little points I got with that one, but we did get some more Lego bricks, which is definitely a good thing. There's no drift zone up here. There's drift zones everywhere right now. I don't think we actually entered this drift zone though. This one's a little bit better for this car actually. Just right outside the grass. Well, that you break to extend that out a little bit. Oh, I did clock that drift zone. New personal best. So, drift zones are everywhere in this game, and the roads are fantastic, and the track in there is just amazing, which I think we should probably head back to. Actually, we should probably head to our. Whoops, wrong button head to our Lego building house, which is right down the street. Oh, so we can just flip it around and go right back to the house. So apparently we get to build a Lego house. So we are gonna go take a look at that right now. So we just ripped past me in the uh, Lego mini. So like I said, I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying these wheel videos on the Lego expansion, because I know I'm enjoying playing this game and we'll be playing it a lot more. We're gonna hit a mini. Oh, there's a lot of minis here. All right, so let's go to the house and see what we're looking at doing for today. It's a beauty spot? Oh, I thought it was actually my, oh, Lego festival. Check it out. That looks sick. I swear, this is the first time Kira didn't have to chase me to help with the festival setup. <laughs> Because you were all about that Lego, man. Gonna get our controller ready. Because if we're building a, starting to build a house, gonna definitely want to use a controller. So we need to go to my house, which is just a little bit past where we were. Build. All right, let's see what we can do. We're looking to maybe build a super big garage, hopefully. Oh, you're gonna give us a house? I mean, I'll take a little house to start. Now, you might be playing with Lego, but this is a Horizon event after all. So, every time you upgrade your house, we'll throw in some rewards for you. Well then, can we actually build on the house? is my question. Or is it just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger? How amazing is this place? Now, I was doing some work for Lego, and I found instructions for a full-scale Lego Ferrari F40. You want to be a speed champion? Get me some bricks. These new brick challenges should help. Um, how do I get the how do I get the Ferrari? I I want current progression. Collect another 200 bricks. I mean, okay. I feel like that's uh not hard to do where are we at falcon loop circuit we're gonna go to that one we're gonna pin that so so we did add a big turbo to our lego mini and we're just gonna go do this event with our Lego Mini, since we are in the Lego expansion, I'm loving the first person view of this car. Looks so cool. So, we have a three mile drive. And I think we're just going to rip there as fast as we can. There's a jump. Oh, I didn't even see that. But we nailed it. We did nail the jump easily. That was an unexpected jump, but uh, looked pretty cool. Dropped down to seven. Still can't get over the fact that this car has eight gears. He must have put a couple extra Lego splines in there to give us that extra gearing. 
We are running the sequential shifter for this car because of the fact that we have eight gears. So the ability that I can just switch my shifter on a fly is uh, definitely a help because on my G920 I only had six gears. So luckily with this one we have sequential mode. I should have taken that jump too. Are we going to be racing the bank track? Oh boy. I mean, I'm okay with this. Looks like we're going to be running the bank. Hopefully this mini can handle the bank without losing it. Looks like it can. So, uh, Falcon Loop. Gotta get some more bricks. We're gonna do solo events. And we're gonna go in our rally monsters just so we can use the Lego Mini. I'm trying to do as much of this campaign in this game with the Lego cars. Looking to get that Ferrari F40, which uh, I actually got the F40 uh, Lego set that I still gotta put together. Haven't put together yet. I did. Uh, I did also get the uh, the Senna that I did put together yesterday. So now I gotta do the, the Ferrari, which is my next uh, build that I'm gonna be doing. So, Falcon Loop, let's just go. Lego Mini, Falcon Loop, Rally Cars. Oops, clutch, clutch helps. So it looks like we are just gonna be running the bank track. So we gotta try and stay smooth on our steering. It's being on a wheel helps because we're not super twitchy on our steering. But I think our gearing is going to be a little off. So we got to use the draft to try and catch these guys, which we are slowly catching them, so we should be okay. But we are topping out. There, Those guys are breaking. Excuse me. I didn't want to hit you guys. You guys slow down a lot. Don't die. Don't spin. Oh, God. Could you imagine wrecking a Lego car at... Uh, 150 miles an hour. The thing would shatter to pieces. Have to be off the gas there a little bit because it's a shorter turn. Cut on the inside. Oh gosh. Come on, man. Oh, that guy came into me. Please tell me you all saw that. So, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. Gonna keep bringing you guys some play-by-play -play here on the Lego expansion because I did miss out on some of the, you know, the playthroughs of the other games. I kind of started it and kind of laxed off. I feel like I'm gonna try to do a full playthrough here on this with uh, some of the fat cut out for you guys because I will play some of the game to get to the main aspects of this game as well other than every single race unless you guys want to see every single race let me know down in the comments we're gonna take the win here in our uh, in our mini a little steering wheel spinning I was gonna get the mini Lego set as well but didn't feel like buying that whole the whole big one because it only comes in a giant kit so it was excited to get the Senna and the Ferrari. So we're going to take the win and get some bricks here. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have the description box below. And as always, I like thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys on the next one.